week five of the NFL season is here and like every week we're gonna be doing our predictions but before we start last week I went nine and six which wasn't really an improvement over the previous week because the previous week I went nine and seven but since there was two teams on a bye week I guess I did better so now my record for the season is above 500 and hopefully this week I'm able to improve on that and really get above 500. Now let's start off with the Thursday night football game. Colts at Patriots. Yeah, I'm taking the Patriots. The Colts aren't a good team. They're going to New England on a short week. That's just a recipe for disaster. Titans at Bills. The Bills aren't a good team at all. The Titans are three and one. They're doing pretty good. I, I just do not see a way that the Titans lose this game. Falcons at Steelers. Now this was a pretty interesting matchup because it's a matchup between two teams that are really underperforming. I'm pretty sure both of these teams, when they saw the schedule coming into this game, they were both expecting to be, you know, three and one, four and zero. Oh, because over the past few years. The Falcons have been, you know, pretty good team. While the Steelers have pretty much been a good team, like, for the past, or more than a decade, at least. So, both these teams are underperforming. I really don't know who's going to win this game. I'm going to go ahead and take the Falcons in this one, because I just think they have way too many weapons for the Steelers. And the Steelers offensively have low-key been struggling besides that shootout against... The Chiefs in week two. Broncos at Jets. The, the Jets just aren't a good team, man. I, I'm taking the Broncos in this one. Jaguars at Chiefs. I feel like the recipe to, you know, slow down Mahomes, the, the Broncos kind of put the blueprint out there, and I think the Jaguars are going to, you know, completely shut down Patrick Mahomes because... Not only do the Jaguars have a ferocious pass rush that can put Mahomes under pressure, but they also have Jalen Ramsey and A.J. Boye who can pretty much shut down the whole field. I think the Jaguars are going to completely embarrass the Chiefs at home. I think the Jaguars have the team capable of doing so. Packers at Lions. The Lions, they, they don't look so good, man. I like the Lions. They're a cool team. I like Darius Slay, but I just do not see them being the Packers. Ravens at Browns. The Ravens have one of the top defenses in the league right now against rookie Baker Mayfield. Yeah, I, I don't see that turning out too well. Giants versus Panthers. Panthers are coming off a bye week. I think the Panthers are going to embarrass the Giants at home. Dolphins at Bengals. Okay, a matchup between... Two surprise three and one teams. This one could really go either way, but I'm taking the Bengals at home to improve to four and one. Raiders at Chargers. Yes, the Raiders got their first win last week, but I just think the Chargers are a clear better team. I think the Chargers win this one at home. Cardinals at Niners. This one's tough. The Cardinals are probably the worst team in the league. The Niners without Jimmy Garoppolo, they're not a very good team. But you know what? I'm taking the Cardinals to get their first win of the season here. Vikings at Eagles. The Eagles are 2-2. Two two. They're not doing so well. The Vikings, they're 1-2-1. One, one. They're also not doing so well. Both of these teams are in a pretty bad spot. If the Eagles lose, they're 2-3. and three. They can definitely come back from it, but it's not where you'd like to be. If the Vikings lose, they're 1-3-1. One, and one, Pretty much 1-4. and four. I'm not too sure who's going to win this one, but I'm going to go ahead and take the Vikings. I feel like the Vikings will go in there into Philly and find a way to win this game. I think their defense is going to wake up and... You know, make life hard for Carson Wentz. Rams at Seahawks. Seahawks just aren't a good team. Cowboys at Texans. I'm taking the Cowboys. The Texans look like a mess right now. Until the Texans can 
you know, show me something. I, I just don't believe in them. Redskins at Saints. I am taking the Saints in this one. I think they'll easily win. I don't think the Redskins are that good of a team, even though they're coming off a of bye week. So anyways, those are my predictions for today. Be sure to comment down below your own predictions for the week. And be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.